Fool me once, shame unto you. Fool me twice, shame unto me. You can fool me twice. But it's unfortunate that so many Nigerians today, you can be fooled even 10 times. You will not even learn lesson. How come are you thinking, believing that Nigeria somehow so one day is going to be better? Are you okay? Nigeria is not going to be better. It is the high time everybody wake up and ask question. One thing about Nigeria, your problem is hope upon hope, hope upon hope, hope upon hope. And at the end of the day, you get old and your children will continue from hope upon hope, hope upon hope. Why? If it at all that this current government or the leaders in Nigeria want Nigeria to prosper, to progress, even before the election, they would have even called a summit where everybody will come together and ask questions, how are we going to live together? Are we going to divide Nigeria or are, you go are we going to restructure Nigeria? Okay, let's forget about dividing Nigeria because that is where they used to deceive people. Restructure Nigeria. Let every state control their resources. Confab. That is good luck, Jonathan. Administration call it confab. Restructuring. Why? What stopped them from restructuring Nigeria? If it at all, they want Nigeria to progress. Before Buhari came to power, Buhari promised everybody that he's going to restructure Nigeria. Today again, all the people campaigning, everybody is also singing that they are going to restructure Nigeria. Do you believe them? How old are you now? Since you were born, you are, you are above 50 years old. Since you were born, you have been hearing Nigerian politicians campaigning with Nigerian road. I'm going to build this road. I'm going to build that road. Do they do it? The answer is no. So why do you believe this time around they are going to do it? When the devil themselves has vowed that people will suffer, die in Nigeria. Let me shock you and show you one thing. For some of you who is still championing for one Nigeria and the election, 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 my foot. Do you know this woman? Sorry. This woman. This is a Tony Blay wife. The former Prime Minister of Britain. British Prime Minister. This is the wife. She's a shareholder in Dangote. How do I... I want you to see it very well. I hope you have seen it. Shareholder of Dangote Cements. That is number one. Hold on. And here is Tony Blair. The former Prime Minister of Britain. British former Prime Minister. This is the, this is the man himself. Who is, who is among people holding Nigeria down. This man. Now listen. Tony Blair Institute. That is what he wrote here. Tony Blair Institute. Helping leaders and the government to deliver for their people. My question is, why Nigeria leaders cannot deliver to their people? If it at all, this institute is working. It's working for British people. But it's not working for Africa. It's not working for Nigeria. So this kind of institute is existing, but... Look at Nigeria. My question is, Tony Blair is one of the leader, European and the British leaders who controls Nigeria. So why Nigeria is so rough like this and everything is going backward? This man you see here, ask him about, ask him the question about Boko Haram. I don't want to say he's there, he's among those who created Boko Haram, but ask him question. He knows, he has something to say about Boko Haram. This man now, to deliver to their people. You hear? You, do, you hear? do you see the English they used to deceive the whole world? Helping, helping leaders and the government to deliver for their people. So where is Tony Blair all this while when Nigeria is so rough like this? People are being agitating for freedom and he turned blind eye as if he doesn't understand, he doesn't know what is going on. These people, they are in charge of Dangote Cement. They are shareholder there. 
Even to the blade and the wife. How much is cement in Nigeria? Dangote is a citizen of Nigeria. Cement is more expensive in Nigeria than Afri other African countries. Go to another African country, Namibia and all the rest of them. Go there and they price Dangote bag of cement and you see the difference. So why? Why, are, why do they want to punish Nigerian people till, till entirety? And many Nigerians don't even want to learn. When you tell them, you say, oh, my Nigeria, you are Nigeria. Which you are Nigeria? You finito. Go to Sambisa Forest. Go and see what they are building there. Now they are, they are building, build, who knows what they are building their nuclear weapon to fight in Russia. So we then send their nuclear weapon from there. When they send their weapon from there, Russia will respond there, and the European people will suffer it. They don't want to use their ground as a as a as a fighting zone. They shift it to Africa. Let African people suffer it. All the resources they take, everything they take, and you have leaders who knows that all this is going on, and nobody cares. Tony Blair is preaching to the whole world that he's among those who is helping. Uh, government to deliver for their people. So my question is, Tony Blay, you are shareholder in Nigeria. Nigerian government, are they really delivering to their people? Are you not seeing the suffering in Nigeria? All the suffering you see today in Nigeria is caused by this man. By this man, nobody else. This man you see. Very dangerous person. As you see him. They had the one controlling Nigeria. Now they created the Buku Aram to divert your attention why something is going on inside Sambisa Forest. Now they, they bring out some, some, some people to campaign for Nigeria for, for election just to divert your attention, to give you hope, 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 hope upon hope. Now everybody is saying P2B. It will be articulated, uh, Jagaban, this one, that one, just to divert your attention, giving you hope. I'm always almost 50 years old since I was born. I have been getting, they have been giving me hope, 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 hope. I'm still living on hope up to today. Nothing has been done. Nigeria is still campaigning. They are still campaigning with the road, which you cannot see even in Kotonu. Kotonu government doesn't even campaign again with the road. They campaign with something higher, not to road. And you believe that Nigeria will be good. Are you not ashamed of yourself? When somebody deceives you two times, three times, you are the fool. Do you know why Igbo man can never rule Nigeria? Even if Igbo man rule Nigeria, many Igbos will still die because all eyes will be on him. Because Britain know Igbo. They know what they suffered in the hand of Igbo. 1940 something, long time ago. They know. Igbo is not the people you control that way. They know. So when you see Pito B, where they bring Pito B, they brought him out to campaign, just to give people hope, to give them hope. Even if Pito B become president of Nigeria, what do you think he's going to do? What Pito B is going to do? Tell me what is he going to do? Is he going to restructure Nigeria? If it at all, Nigeria, Nigeria is designed to be restructured so that it will favor everyone. It's now they will do it even before the election. The constitution, they will change it. So you think now Igbo man is the one who is going to bring change in Nigeria. Do you think like that? It's a lie. Make them know they deceive people. Giving people hope. The people caging Nigeria is not even all those politicians you see. Not to Jagaban, not to Buhari, not all these men you see. See them here. To the blade. And co. These are the people holding Nigeria down. All this terrorism you see. Destroying people here and there. These are, look at them. Where they, where they share the job, they distribute the job to somebody like Tinubu. Tinubu will pass the jobs to somebody like Simon Epadem. Who will now champion him for seat at home. Tell me where somebody who say that he is fighting for their people. For the release of their leader. Now you are telling your people to sit at home for one week. Did you provide any food for them? You can only give somebody punishment, telling him not to go outside for one week because you want to punish him. That's the only way you can tell somebody sit at home for one week. It's punishment. 
You want him to die for hunger. And that is what the Nigerian government wants. So that people will start seeing IPOB as a, as a threat. As a threat. Instead of a hope of freedom. Do you see their game? That is why they are sending that boy. They call Simon Edna. Every day, sit at home, sit at home. He doesn't know any other thing than sit at home. When now they cannot start to sit at home. You know why he started to sit at home? He want to pass message to international communities, the whole world, to tell them, yes, IPOB is in charge. And truly, IPOB is in charge. Whenever Nigerian president, somebody like this uh, fake Buhari, want to travel to eastern part of Nigeria, which we call Biafra today, which is Biafra, Whenever he want to travel there, we will not declare it at home to let him know that he's not welcome. That is the that is the reason of uh, uh, telling people sit at home. That is the reason. So now tell me this one now they are championing everywhere. Simon and Co championing everywhere. What is their reason of championing sit at home for seven days? They want you to get tired. They want you to die of hunger. So anybody you see championing sit at home, you see stupid idiot who doesn't want to help his people. See, Moron. Here is their problem. See them? See them? Shareholder in Dango Testament. That is why you buy cement. 4,500 naira. 4,006, 4,007. 3,008, 3,009. While you go to another African country, the same Dango Testament, you will buy it at the rate of 2,000 naira, 1,800 naira. Sometimes 1,500. <laughs> because British is in charge. Go and ask Tony Blay, what are they doing inside Sambisa Forest? What are they building there? They use Boko Haram to surrender themselves. They keep you fighting, killing yourself, destroying church and the mosque everywhere just to deceive the people, to, to divert your attention, to keep you busy while they keep on doing what they are doing. Do you know the kind of nuclear weapon they're building there? Building nuclear weapon there, do you know? Any day they fire it from that place, it meets Russia. Russia will return it back to them. And the Nigerian people will suffer it. Yes. Keep on fighting each other. Full and oil, come on. You want to conquer. You, are only say, uh, you want to dig the Quran inside the ocean. While your masters have another agenda. The day they will roast everybody, including you, without your Quran, you want to soak inside the, in the, inside the ocean. You will be reverend father. You carry Bible up and down. The day they will done with you, with that Bible that uh, the, the, the British brought to you, with you with that Bible, you, you and that Bible will not exist again. Who cares about that, your Bible? They don't care. But they are the ones who introduced that Bible to you. Today they are killing you in the name of that God. I raised my case here. Who want to know? No. If you don't want to know, up to you. My dear, if truly they want Nigeria to progress, to prosper, all the leaders in Nigeria will come together, sit. How are we going to live? No fight with open hearts. Who don't care to live with these people? We go their way. What is there? Every Nigeria have resources. Northern part of Nigeria, they have resources more than even the south. Yoruba have their resources, Belekete. Niger Delta have, Igbo have, Benue have. All Nigeria is in resources. And nobody will not get the resources, but they don't hide it. Because if you understand that all of you have resources, it will be like fire. <laughs> Look at you. Go out there and start shouting 2023 election. We shall see now. I promise you people, after 2023 election, many will return back to IPOB. Bet me. Many will join. Because I got Pia Wunu in as well. Go and meet Tony Blay. Here, see them. These are the people controlling. These are the people controlling the price of Dango Testament in Nigeria. Look at them. That is the reason why they give monopoly of, uh, of uh, importing cement to one person. And they fix his price. All the Igbo people who have cement business, they close it down. Ibeto cement, they shut it down. Any other person, they shut it down. Only then go to Tony Blay. You see how they are making their money? You see the way pound, pounds is going high. Great Britain, Great Britain. Nothing like sit at home. Go, go, go do your job. Anybody who disturb you, you will receive it hot. Nonsense.